Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Adventure 2 and Land of Doom. Last time, more stars were collected. To the point where we got up to 52 of those sneaky, sneaky stars. Alright. Uh, wait, let me do one thing before I do this. Back up that save. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so, Blue Memory Scary Chris 5. Scary red coins. So you might be wondering, where are the red coins? We haven't seen any. <laughs> well, for some reason Bro decided that he didn't want red coins to spawn on any of the first four stars. So because of that, red coins only spawn on the sixth star. Or on the fifth and sixth stars. So yeah. So actually the last two stars are locked behind those other ones. So you know, there's a <clears throat> interesting level of progression here. So you need the first star to get stars 2 through 4, and you need stars 2 through 4 to get stars 5 and 6. And 100 coins, I think. Actually, no, maybe not. <clears throat> you can probably... No, you probably don't need 100 coins or red coins to get 100 coins, honestly. Because there's a, there's, a, there's a decent amount of coins in this level. Specifically because the booze provide a lot of juicy, juicy coins. So yeah, you actually don't have to do anything too complicated for this one. You can just double jump. It's a pretty high double jump though. So yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole challenge. <clears throat> picking up reds. Picking up sneds. And drinking reds. Yeah. You know, red coins. Whoa, watch out. So, this box... I don't know if it does this on the other stars, but now that that happens... <clears throat> Sorry. And now that. So yeah, these red coins are... They're in pretty basic spots. They're, they're, there's no spot that's gonna make you go like, Oh, what the fuck is that? You know? Like some of our earlier levels, which had spots that made you go, Oh, what the fuck is that? Especially, you know, when you first see it the one. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that jump is kind of scary. Or, uh, <clears throat> it's, a uh, scarier. It's, uh, scarier than it really is. Am I gonna make it? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to at very least get the 100 coins early, so red coins won't take too long. Although red coins are it's pretty similar in difficulty to uh, 100 coins, so yeah. I practiced the faster strat, and I think it's harder than just doing that, so we're not doing the faster strat. You know, the one where you just triple jump from this one that I'm standing on. Because I think it's harder. It is faster, though. Because like a lot of the strats that you see are speedrun strats, because that's what a lot of people do. They speedrun the game. Like Stan SM64 Addict, or I think his, his name is just Stan SM64 now. His uh, his videos use a lot of speedrun strats. Because he's a speedrunner. Can't fault him for his occupation? It's not really an occupation, but I think he does get some sort of money from it. Watch out. Okay, don't go in the warp. Yeah. 42 is the magic number, as always. Or rather, the answer to everything, I guess. What the hell? That fly guy is going nuts. Alright. So, yeah. These fly guys are, you know, as always, that fly guy is pretty scary. So, yeah. Nothing really changes in the level besides. Oh, yeah, that star, by the way. That's star six. And we'll probably get that this episode, too. I don't know why, star 6 really has no reason to only spawn on the last two stars, because it's, there's nothing special, it's just another platforming section that requires you to climb a decent ways up the level to reach. It's not really that special. It's just kind of, you know, more of this level doing that whole blue nightmare sky thing. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, nice. That was a little scary. This whole level's a little scary in general, dude. That's just how, like, that's like one of the mathematical theorems, you know? 
if uh, if Blue Nightmare Sky, then scary. But it's not scary because the atmosphere is just scary because it's scary. So yeah, now there's more blocks here. But the one we're using today is this one. Or this time is this one. That was spooky. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the fire. You know, because fire is pretty dangerous. Fire uh, burns things. Sorry if that's a little uh, shocking. I know a lot of the public doesn't know this, but fire does actually burn things. You know? <laughs> like kids. Fire burns kids. Did you know that? It's fucking terrifying. You know what? I'm gonna try to bait this guy. Because I'm not comfortable with his position. Because, uh, despite him being in the wall, it is possible to bonk off that guy. Or to bounce on him. And then you're super dead. And super dead is not the best position. So, yeah. Obviously, don't really want to be super dead. Alright. Hmm. This makes it, right? Yeah. And now this red coin spend in the air. I present to you the only red coin that is suspended in the air in an extreme hack that doesn't make you repeat sections of the level to get it. You know? So yeah, that's a pretty big feat. So I'm actually gonna do something. You can see that red coin right there, but that one's kind of risky. So I'm actually gonna do something else. I'm going to... Instead of get that right away, I'm instead going to get the... 100 coin star because I'd rather have a star than die trying to double down. Whoa, watch out. Watch out. Danger zone alert. Alright. So yeah, I'll have to come back there. Alright. Cool. Be careful here because booze are dangerous creatures. They like to troll. And yeah. So there's one more boo in this level, and then we'll get the hot intel that we've been <laughs> unable to listen to because I've been too lazy to kill all the boos until I need their money. Yeah, pro tips, kids. Uh, don't kill anybody until it's in your best monetary interest. Then you do kill people. See, like, I'm just so nice. I give you guys, like, I give you guys life pro tips for free. I don't charge for these things. Some people would pay money for that kind of experience. Meanwhile, I distribute it for free. Look at that. Already a hundred coins. Look at me now. Shit! Why have you killed me? I, the great Nabulian Bonaparte, died in front of a silly plumber. You defeated me, so here's my little secret. Do you know that musical cave around here? Under that star is a secret pipe. Every boo knows that. It's something more scary than that slips down there. Have a doomy night. Hee hee hee. So yeah, that's our hint to the secret level. There's a sound, but nothing happens. A hundred coins! Yes. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done this now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Now I just need to not die. Why is there a block there? Oh, I know. I know why that's there. It's there for a very obvious reason. Okay. So now we have this thing. That's like the only way to describe this shit. It's a thing. So you jump down here, and now you gotta jump down here! Onto this tiny little beam. So yeah, this beam is pretty thin. There we go, landed on it. Now you gotta angle the camera in a good way. And now you just run up to the coin. Make sure you're in the middle here, because you're gonna want to kick off this to get maximum speed. And I'll just slowly, but surely, get back, back that ass up. And now you can just double jump on the sledge. Ooh, that was scary. Alright. Scary like these red coins. Get it, that's the star name! Ha ha! For once I actually integrated the star name in the episode. You know? Because frankly, these red coin stars have the dumbest names ever like scary red coins but he didn't even spell red coin or he didn't even spell scary right you know like how could you make such 
garbage idiot mistake. Like, that is just amateur, like, amateur hours now, apparently, if we're making that kind of grammatical error. This is an amateur hour. To be fair, this hack isn't very well made, so makes sense that the grammar would be amateur hours deluxe. My favorite expansion pack to any video game. So this is pretty much the same as, you know, first time, only safer, because now there's no King Boo to mess up your jumps. Just fire to mess up your jumps. No! I made a dumb mistake. Wow. Alright. Uh, top ten idiot mistakes of all time. Well, at least I got a hundred coins. <sighs> that was a dumb mistake. I thought I was lower than I was. Oh well. At least I got a hundred coins. That's that's an achievement on its own. Right there. That was a dumb mistake though. That kind of hurt my soul. Yeah, there's nothing too interesting about climbing this thing a million times again. Because this is again. This is an again moment. Only now I gotta fucking get red coins again. I mean, yeah. I'll probably cut after this attempt because I don't think you want to see me get those again. You know, because that was pretty boring. Let's be real. At least, at least after this episode, you'll only have to see this level one more time. And it's not going to be for hopefully many attempts. Because then we're going to go to the secret level in this place, which is even worse than this level. It is probably the worst level in this game, honestly. It is an awful garbage piece of shit level. And I'm going to play it for your, you guys' amusement. You know? If you can call this amusement. You know? Comedy is, subject is subjective, so... This could be hilarious to some people, but the dumbest thing they've ever watched to others. And that's fine, because we're all entitled to opinions. You know? My opinion is that I shouldn't have made that mistake. <laughs> Alright, uh... Do you guys really want to see this? Ooh, I know what I can talk about. This fucking dinner I had today, dude. It was such a good dinner. You know? It was... I guess stir-fry you would call it in English. Um... I don't know how to pronounce anything it was in English, but it was good, dude. It was like rice, some steak, but like, you know, well done steak because like of how it's cooked. It's like thin steaks, so, and like some beef, some more rice, french fries, onions, and tomatoes. That's basically what it was. It was like three different dishes, but, you know, I ate three. It was like a, like we got three different things, but like we all split it among ourselves. Man, it was delicious. And that's like the most interesting thing I could think of at the moment. Because there's nothing else to talk about in this level. Because it's really boring. I'm kind of sad I died now. I got first D right there. So yeah. Oh yeah, um... School events, I guess, you know. So we have to take a standardized test eventually in the first week of April. Because I take 10th grade geometry, even though I'm in 8th grade. And, like, uh, we have to take a standardized test that's called a park, but I think they changed it to, like, the NG, the, the New Jersey something or other. I don't know. I don't know the new acronym, acronym, but it's not the same acronym. That's all I need to know. It's the same test, just different acronym. You know when things have useless renames? That, that, that's literally the embodiment of a useless rename. It's the exact same thing, just with a different coat of paint. You know? My, uh, my, my geometry teacher described it as, uh, the park wearing a Halloween costume. Although I heard that, like, uh, te like, parents are getting mad at, like, the park because apparently, like, teachers are working too hard to, like, ensure that students pass it and they aren't actually learning, like, what they're supposed to. They're just learning all the stuff that they need to pass the park. Which is, like, a fair argument with any standardized test because you'd, you you want to look like a good teacher. You want to, like, you know, you don't want to look like all the students are failing because, to my knowledge, if, like, all your students are failing, you know, you're in pretty big trouble because then it makes you look like shit. 
so you want your students to like be prepared for the park or any standardized test for that matter but like you know then it, it must be like a hard balance and that's why like you gotta have some respect for teachers I think if you're a teacher you're definitely not doing it for like you're doing it only because that's what you really want to do because teaching is not a valuable position at all I don't envy any teachers frankly all right so I'm gonna make a cut but I'm going to lay out a blanket statement so uh, because of all the cuts it's reasonable that similar to the Camellia 3 let's play people are going to get suspicious of cheating so if you personally are suspicious of anything that is cutted please note that I will personally uh, I, I have no problem doing stars again uh, just for you so I can prove that I am an innocent boy who does not cheat so if any of this seems faked or f like fake news to you uh, fair argument you know but just know that I will be happy to show you uh, some stuff so with that let's uh, skip to six red coins again all right take a while to get back here so yeah but hey that's just how things go you know sometimes it takes a while to get back to the hard section sometimes it takes no time that's just the nature of hard games nothing is certain and that's uh, part of the fun because it makes making some killer progress even more exciting because you never know when it's gonna happen Ooh, nice I almost went way too fast all right cool set up Go a little lower this time. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how we game. All right. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do more wall kicks, as per usual. So the seventh red coin is all the way over here for some reason. There's no real reason to for, for it to be all the way over here. It just is. All right. Nice. So there's one more red coin, and it's very possible that I'm going to die to this, so don't get my or your hopes up too high, because this last jump, well, this last difficult jump is actually uh, pretty easy to mess up, so I'm going to be a little quiet. It doesn't matter. Wow, I overshot it just barely. Damn! Hey look, I just killed the boo. Excuse me. Alright, so yeah, three more coins as always when you make it on this castle. So I gotta say, I wanna talk about something real quick. I actually really like this castle in this game. Because it took something as mundane as a couple wall kicks of a castle in the original game. And turned it into something actually treacherous and difficult and that's one of the best things that I think extreme hacks can do is when they turn something that's normally like oh who cares the sequence is kind of just whatever you know just take some time and they turn it into something that is actually an interesting challenge honestly this is probably the best part of the level it's traversable without being overly difficult you know it has like some it, it's uh the layout actually makes sense you know i just like it although it's a bit weird that there's only quicksand on that side and not on this side but i am not complaining because an easier level oh ooh, i finally get a chance to show off the lol right there look at that that is not good distribu dis dis distribution of your l length but okay it's like when you first learn to write and like all your letters are just like the worst things imaginable. They're all super sloppy and sweaty. Alright, let's try not to get overshot. Thank you! Alright. Now all I gotta do is do the ultimate Hail Mary jump. That's what they that's what they call YOLOs now. Actually no, no one does, but still it's cool. BAM! Red coins done. Honestly, I thought this hour was going to be a lot harder. Whew, it took a while though. Alright, scary red coins. Ooh, one up. 65 stars. Alright. The Goomba, get out of here. 
Star six, all ends with blocks. All right, so this has to do with that extra block we saw. And guys, good news. After this, we won't have to do boring, well, actually we will have to do boring commentary one more time for this level. But after this, we're mostly done with the boring commentary where I just talk about the level over and over again. You know? Holy shit, it's crazy. It's intense. It's insane. You know? It's absolutely incredible. Mm, my voice is fucked again. Ooh, almost safe stated. That would have been a mistake. <clears throat> Get out of here, voice. Stop doing that dumb shit. Alright, can we stop dying on this beginning now? Can we, like, make decent progress? There we go. So I guess I'll talk about my thoughts on this level overall. Uh, I had fun with it, you know? I don't think there was actually a point in this level where I was actually mad. Maybe I was a little upset or frustrated, but I don't think I was ever actually mad in this level. So that's definitely a sign of a pretty alright level. Um, I guess the stars, um, the first star was really hard for being a first star. Honestly, that's still the hardest star in this level. Although red coins are like objectively harder, you have experience with the level so it's easier. Um, what else? The windy bridge was really difficult too. Um, what else was hard? Star number three was pretty dumb, but it was like a fun dumb. It wasn't like a painful dumb, like Bowser's Old Domain, so I liked it. Um, that was the piano hide by the way. Star number four, the LOL. Probably the best star in the, in the level from a game design perspective, because it's the only one that you don't need to climb the whole level to, you just have to climb a little bit of it. And the actual platforming section. I would argue- actually, that star, uh, the LOL, that is by far the easiest star in this course. But it's not accessible until, you know, after you do all this dumb shit, so... It doesn't really matter, it's the easiest one, because you have to do the hardest star first. So yeah, that's that. <clears throat> um... Red coins were fun. You know, it, it, it was a pretty good level. And honestly, um... It, it's a good ending to Overworld 1, a good transition, because it makes you... It really prides your interest in... Whoa, okay. I got a little too rowdy with my triple jump there. It, it definitely makes you interested in what the later levels are going to be. And the later levels are definitely interesting. So yeah. But this is a cool level. Although I gotta say, the aesthetic... It's alright, you know. When we think of the visuals for the level. Uh, yeah, it's alright. It's... It's too blue, honestly. Like, that's like the biggest problem I have with this- with the aesthetics. There's so much blue, it's pretty much just all one color for the whole level. That's about it, you know? Just one color, one- one color, and then the quicksand's a different color. And then, you know, then there's like this texture. There's like three- there's like four different colors of ground in this stage. Actually five. You know, the- or five different textures. There's the ground texture, there's the wall texture, why am I over here texture, uh, the quicksand texture, the purple ground that isn't quicksand texture, and the castle texture. Those are the only textures in Subble. What are you doing, phone? What am I getting a notification for? Oh, speedrun. Alright, cool. Yeah, my phone's on my side because uh, while the footage was, you know, cutting away while I was getting those red coins, uh, I was watching some videos. What videos were they again? Why? I've already forgotten. Oh yeah, Scott the Waz. Uh, very good YouTuber. One of my favorites. You know? He makes some really interesting videos on things that you wouldn't really expect people, anyone to make videos on. You know? Like, game of the year videos, but it's not like, like, well he made like a game of the year video, which is like, not just like, oh, this is my game of the year this year. No, it was actually like, okay, here's every single, here's my personal game of the year, and then like the actual game of the year of the year. You know? 
which is interesting. It's an interesting video. He also made like the game foods one where you- what the fuck? Okay, so that jump is really weird because sometimes your, your, your speed disappears. Like seriously, like your speed goes from actually having some sort of momentum going backwards to being at a full stop and it doesn't make any sense. The camera doesn't change angles. I don't change angles. It's just that sometimes you come to a full stop and there's nothing you can do about it. It might be an invisible wall now that I'm thinking about it because like that would be like that's like the only context where something like that would make sense. Yeah. What? How'd you not? How are you fucking- how- Th that was multiple levels. One, how was he not, like, shying away from me? Number two, how did I not die from getting hit by him? Number three, oh god, th 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 that's it. That This is one, two, three, or one, two. But I got reminded of this dumb fucking thing. It's a pro Jared video where he was covering Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero. Basically, shitty game. I don't. I haven't played any like fighting games besides Smash Bros. But you know, he was reviewing it. You know, as usual. But yeah, that was about it. He was just reviewing it. But um, there's a cutscene in the game where one of the characters, I think it's like Scorpion, says. You have maintained your mortality. You have maintained your mortality, which would mean that you are vulnerable to death. And that is like, that is so fucking funny to me. I don't know if it's funny to anyone else, but it's like, you know. What, dude? What a lame way to die. Has there been a lamer way to die than that? And just straight up just missing the pillar. I think that jump has shifted to my hardest jump because it's the most inconsistent thing. I just don't I just don't know how to do it. And I hate that I don't know how to do it because it should be like so simple. Come on, let's let's get this last star over with. It's not it's not like I thought the star was gonna be way quicker because you don't even need to climb that much of the level for it. Because it appears like at like the 60% point. Actually, more like the 70% point. You know? Yeah. Whoa, watch out, watch out. My little circle there. Yeah. I don't know. Full motion video cutscenes, especially on like, you know, like the Sega Saturn and stuff like that. Those are just fucking hilarious. Like, those are like comedy gold, dude. A gold mine of comedy. Like, it's so funny. Cause like, a lot of them have like really shitty acting and voice acting, and commonly like they have like really fucking dumb, uh, scripts. Like, <laughs> you have maintained your mortality, which would mean that you are vulnerable to death. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Pro Jared is a good YouTuber, dude. He makes good videos. You know. I like to think that, like, I have a weird sense of humor. <clears throat> like, you could show me something and I'll think it's, like, the funniest thing in the world, even though it's not funny at all. But then you could show me, like, some actual comedy and I'll either not get it or just not think it's funny. You know? Like, I don't think a lot of memes are funny. Because I think memes have gone from, like, actually funny things to just Haha, it's a stupid face Or haha, it's a fucking- it doesn't make any sense and is not any form of actual comedy Fire! Fire! Shit, dude, I might be fucked I might be fucked, I might have taken too much damage Alright, well, I'll have to try. Okay, don't get burned. Holy shit, I'm actually over here. Oh god, that that is way too far to not take so much damage. Yup, I fucking can't believe it, dude. I took too much damage and I died because of it. What a ridiculous way to die, dude. I I... I took too much damage so I couldn't survive the fall. Excellent. 
what a, what a, what a just great fucking level design where you get burned and then you get burned again. Truly impeccable. And it's not like I could have gotten coins because there's no way to get coins from there. That was just fucked, dude. What? Of course I just had to get burned there because the booze just have to have a cutscene for no reason. Bruh. Actual anger. Like that was- that- that- that kind of made me sad. Like that just made me sad more than anything because like I was right next to the star but I just barely did not have enough HP. Because I fucking got burned. I got burned in the most bullshit way, and then I got combo burned in an even more bullshit way. Combo burn is not a real terminology, I just made that up, by the way. Like, come on, dude. I guess we had to get one last troll in here from courtesy of Blue Nightmare Sky. I mean, it wouldn't be right if we just... Okay, cool! The fire lasted for like ten hours, dude. Uh, I don't want to cut because, you know, I want to show this last star because it's easy. I think I might have to cut because I basically got the star. I just got cheesed out of 4 HP. Which is like the most bullshit way to not get a star. You get cheesed out of health. Because that was just pure cheese, dude. Like, you can't convince me that, like... That was 100% my fault. It's the game putting shitty enemies everywhere. Like the first burn, yeah, it's my fault. I shouldn't have gone that far away from my safety zone. But the second burn was just the dude happened to be in my way. All right, anyways, we're not making, we're not gonna make any progress if we just sit here complaining about things. So let's sit here, d d d cutting. All right, cool. This time, I did not take millions of property damage. Property damage? That's the wrong kind of damage. It's more like collateral damage, I think. I don't know any terminology for things. There we go. There's the juice! Alright, cool. Yeah, that starts super easy. Probably second easiest, because I think wall is still easier if you know how to do the wall kicks. All ends with blocks. And with that... All the main courses in stage, uh, in Overworld 1 are done. Thank god, dude, so we can finally leave. Um, there's one more thing in Blue Nightmare Sky, but I think next time on Star Revenge 2 Night of Doom, instead of doing that, we're instead going to begin, well, actually begin for real, uh, Bowser 1. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye.